It's Friday morning at KK1065, the Pride of the Valley. I'm Ben Patrick Johnson. A while back, we had a couple of very interesting guests on the air. Their names are Jan and Alex. They're a married gay couple, and they have two young children that they're raising. What could possibly go wrong? (laughs) Well, plenty. But uh, a lot goes right as well. And they have an award-winning podcast called Daddy Squared. And uh, when they were on, it was interesting. I felt like I got a perspective on gay life that I didn't have otherwise. And um, I was very pleased to have had them on the air. That was a little much there. Um, I, that I didn't have before. And months have passed, and life has been lived. And I thought I'd have them back and bring us up to date on their adventures. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. And it's very Jewish to to bring us on on a Friday morning. It's very like Shabbat Shalom. <laughs> We're going to do the Hora now, so just brace yourselves. <laughs> what have you been up to? Uh, well, uh, we did just start uh, season four of Daddy Squared, uh, Daddy Squared Around the World, where, um, Ben, you, you did assume that we were actually flying to different countries for each episode. I and thought you were out and about on an airplane and, you know. Yes. Our, they threw up here in the studio last time. Yeah, the, 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 the Daddy Squared... Anymore. The Daddy Square jet has been um, grounded as a result of the pandemic. Mainly because it's from Lego. And oh, right, it doesn't actually exist is yeah. the other reason why it's been grounded. Um, but no, we, we've been doing it digitally. We've been doing everything digitally. I mean, when I say do it digitally, we've been doing it digitally. Um, oh. And uh, that is everything from work meetings to, uh, you know, ordering food to everything else. Uh, but we got, you know, jabbed in the arm a little over over three weeks ago, uh, both of us. So we're, you know, now able to, I don't know, lick random people's faces on the street. We don't, we don't, you shouldn't. Don't, you should not yet, not yet. Um, but, uh, but you know, things are opening up and things are getting better. And we, we took a little family trip. It's okay. Go, where'd you go? We went, well, we went to Phoenix, uh, Arizona. We stayed at one of those, you know, hugely family friendly resort type of things. We were the gay couple. Um, mm. They have a, they have a suite, you know, like there's the presidential suite and there's the, the, <laughs> the gay couple suite. Um, and oh. yes, yes. Um, we were showcased, you know, uh, no, but, but we did, we had, we, we drove there. And then by the way, I'll just say that uh, after driving there for seven hours, we, um, we bought three one way tickets back one for my husband <laughs> and one for each of my children. And then I drove the car alone and I got to tell you, driving it alone was, was great. It was the drive. You got a seven-hour trip, free, uh, like a podcast. Quiet. Yeah, there's seven hours of quiet. It was great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want to hear more about that trip, and I want to hear what else you've been up to. We're gonna take a quick break, listen to a song, come right back. It's Jan and Alex, Daddy Squared, KG 106.5, The Pride of the Valley. It's Friday morning at KG. I'm Ben Patrick, talking to Jan and Alex, who are Daddy Squared. They've got an award-winning, very popular podcast. What have you guys been talking about on your show? So the new season, it's called uh, Daddy Squared Around the World. And the reason why we uh, did that, and I think that last time we talked to you about that, that we're going to do that, um, we realized that um, our podcast has been crossing the borders of the United States. And we got uh, Mm. so many comments from uh, gay men around the world who are kind of don't know what their options are. So in each episode this season, we visit you know, virtually another country. We talk to a gay dad who is famous in their own country. And we kind of explore options for gay men, uh, kind of go over the gay rights in that country, what we need to uh, improve, and also like what are the options as far as surrogacy, adoption, co-parenting, all sorts of stuff. What have you learned? Well, we've learned a few things. Uh, first of all, we've we've learned that um, gay dads are pretty much the same everywhere in the world. Um, mm. And by the way, it turns out that gay dads and straight dads are very much the same everywhere in the world, too, except for, you know, that one really important thing. Mm. Yes, Barbara Streisand. Um, not that thing. Uh, but but I, I will say that we've also determined, we've also learned that um, America is a surprisingly forward-looking country when it comes to gay men having kids uh, through surrogacy. And the reason why is because in a lot of the rest of the world, countries that we think of as being so progressive, surrogacy itself is either illegal or very difficult to do as a result of regulation 
regulations that have been established in those countries. And this was news to me. Um, and, and it's a very, uh, it's a fascinating uh um, way of looking at it, because on one hand, there are um, uh, there are pressures in those countries that are not supportive of the gay community that have something to do with this uh, uh, ban on surrogacy. But very often, the reason why is because of a support of women and a fear that surrogacy can, if allowed to get out of control, result in women being exploited for. Uh, that function. And so you have gay men in in these countries who want to have kids and they're coming to the United States to do it or or other countries. And so this has been a real learning uh, experience for us. I want to tell you three things that I learned that are not related to gay dads. Oh, okay. Just related to, in general, to people uh, all over the world. So first of all, I learned that in Argentina, there's a gay icon who's apparently a combination of Cher and Oprah. My God. Yeah, that's right? a terrifying Frankenstein I also learned, thing, yeah. but go on. <laughs> I also learned that in Germany, when people have cold, they put an onion near the bed. Yes. I and do that anyway, just to attract Oh, really? Oh. That's the way he attracts men. <laughs> <laughs> um, and last but not least, I learned that carrots are actually um, a commercial thing for Netherlands because they originally weren't uh, orange. I don't know if you knew that. And Didn't. because Netherlands uh, color is orange, the national color, they genetically made orange carrots and it just took. So orange was originally white or purple. My goodness, I yes. learned so much from you people today. Yes, you'd think that this was yeah. just a gay dad's podcast, but it's apparently agricultural as well. <laughs> Who knew? In the, at least this season. <laughs> What's ahead for you guys? Well, we're probably going to continue with uh, with the show. Um, we have ten more countries to visit, at least. <laughs> yes, I, I think I'm we- also planning my trip. So every every dad that we're talking with, I'm like. Why don't you set us up in, you know, Sweden or Netherlands when, when we come yeah. when we come yeah. there? It's all about you explo- say your trip. Are you both going? Um, well, so you know, we have a policy as a family which we don't follow, but I'm going to present <laughs> it anyway. Um, and the policy is that uh, we 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 want to take trips as a family, all four of us. We want to take trips as a couple, just the two of us. Sexy trips, a sexy trip, and Ooh. we want to take um, trips individually, just you know, one of us getting away. Um, and before the pandemic, we were bad at it, but we sort of did it. During the pandemic, mm-hmm. we haven't done it really at all. Uh, and we want to get that that uh, approach starting again. And God knows after the pandemic, you know, uh, op- after things open up, everybody is going to be so desperate to go places and do things and see people. And, and so I, I think that's going to be really important for us. Um, we also want to go, we're planning on going to see our families that live in Israel. Uh, so that that's for the summer. Um, and, uh, you know, we're, we're hoping hoping that the rest of the world is going to take a deep breath and pick themselves up from this thing and move forward because we want to do the same. It's Jan, it's Alex. Together they are Daddy Squared. Tell me where people can find your podcast. DaddySQR.com is certainly uh, our website, uh, but you can find Daddy Squared, the Gay Dads podcast, on anywhere where you find podcasts. May we check in with you down the road and see what's up? Yes. Please do. Wonderful. Thanks for being here this morning. KK1065, the Pride of the Valley.